Hello everybody, I am Dr. Jitin Pandey and today we are going to discuss about mobile banking security. The increasing uses of smartphone has enabled individuals to use various applications including mobile banking applications. More and more individuals have started using mobile applications for banking as compared to the traditional desktop or web-based banking applications. Mobile banking refers to the use of a smartphone or other cellular device to perform online banking tasks while away from your home desktop computer for various uses such as monitoring account balances, viewing mini statement, account statement, transferring funds between accounts, bill payments, etc. Now let us discuss some of the threats to mobile banking. The first threat is mobile banking malwares. There have been incidents that involved sophisticated virus infecting banks mobile apps, users to steal password details and even fraud two-factor authentication by presenting victims with a fake version of the login screen when they access their legitimate banking applications. A key vector by which the mobile banking malware get into the mobile device is through malicious applications posing as legitimate applications that users download and then become infected. For prevention against malware attacks, one must follow the following suggestions. Download and use anti-malware protection for the mobile phone or tablet device. Keep the banking app software up to date. Using the latest version of the software allows receiving important stability and security fixes timely. Use security software. Applications for detecting and removing threats including firewalls, viruses and malware detection, and intrusion detection system, mobile security solution should be installed and activated. Reputed applications should only be downloaded onto the smartphone from the market after look at the developer's name, reviews and star ratings and check the permissions that the application requests and ensuring that the request match the feature provided by that application. The second threat is phishing, smishing or wishing attack. An attacker attempts phishing onto the mobile phone through SMS, text message, telephone call, fax, voice message etc with the purpose to convince the recipient to share their sensitive or personal information. For prevention against phishing attacks, emails or text messages asking the user to confirm or provide personal information like debit card, credit card, ATM pin, CVV, expiry date, password etc should be ignored. Secure socket layer and transport layer security should be adequately implemented in mobile banking apps, thus helping to prevent phishing and man in the middle attacks. Next threat is jailbroken or rooted devices. This is practiced to gain unrestricted or administrative access to the device entire file system at the risk of exposing the device vulnerable to the malicious apps downloaded by breaking its inherent security model and limitations, allowing mobile malware and rogue apps to infect the device and control critical functions such as SMS. Thus, the mobile banking app security is exposed to extreme risk on a jailbroken device. Next threat is outdated operating system and no secure network connections. Risk factors such as outdated operating system versions, use of no secure Wi-Fi network in mobile devices allow cyber criminals to exploit an existing online banking session to steal funds and credentials. For prevention, use secure network connections. It's important to be connected only to the trusted networks. Avoid the use of public Wi-Fi networks. More secure and trusted Wi-Fi connections identified as WPA or WPA2 requiring strong passwords should be used. 
Now I will suggest best practices for user to remain safe while using mobile banking. Number one is enable passwords on devices. Strong passwords should be enabled on the user's phone, tablets and other mobile devices before mobile banking apps can be used. Additional layers of security inherently provided by these devices should be used. Number two is bank account number or IPIN should not be stored on the user's mobile phone. Number three, the user should report the loss of mobile phone to the bank for them to disable the user's IPIN and his access to the bank's account through mobile banking app. And last but not the least, when downloading the bank's mobile app in the mobile device, the user should go to a trusted source such as App Store for iPhone and Play Store for Androids. User can alternatively check the bank's website for the details of the ways to receive app downloaded URL, whether in the response to his SMS or email to the bank and then install the application. The app from any other third party source should not be downloaded. I hope these tips are useful for you. Thank you very much.